just going to play some more cooler today, see if we can climb past bronze rank one. We had a pretty good day yesterday with the deck. Um, we're going to try to refine it a bit. So far it's been going pretty good, but I might change out some cards for the one drop Ginyu. Um, let's play some games and see how we go, see if we need to edit. And um, yeah, still trying to learn the deck, but it's been really fun. So we're going to see if we can keep it going. So thanks for watching, guys. See what we can do. Might as well just get it going. Promotion match? Oh. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if we can get promoted. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so probably Universe 7 Goku, so... Yeah, it is Universe 7 Goku, so... Golden Death Beam, we're keeping this hand. We are keeping this hand, this is perfect. This and this can take care of that Frost, no worries. We don't really have any of our early game aggro, but we want to be the control players in this match. So... Um, hmm. I think we get rid of the 4 drop. Uh, Frieza. He's not too good in this match. We, we don't need a lot to force through damage. We just need to be low to the ground. I was hoping we go turn two. Turn two, you always want to go turn two with crit. Or player two with crit. We take the damage, that's fine. Let's see if we can get some more Ginyu. There's one. Okay, now we need Ginyu himself. And birder, and then yeah, we're cooking. I do want to get rid of Roshi though. Hmm, this is a tough one. I think. Hmm. I think I get rid of Frost. Our cooler, sorry. Then we will um, we'll play our sorbet, get our card draw. We will go face with crit. So we have both of our um, supernovas. We can charge one of them. We don't need both. What did we get? Uh, another Roshi. Okay. Um, we will use one of the phrases here to get rid of this Roshi. Um, oh no, he's just the draw one card. He's not even the um, constant draw one. That's fine. We can leave that. We'll just end the turn there. Yeah, okay. The other Roshi we have to watch out for, the one where you draw um, a card from life every turn and reduce the cost of that card by one red. That has to die. Very good ramp for them. Yep. We take it. We want to find our Ginyu Force. And we also want to flip with Cooler as soon as possible. Hit's not bad. He's going to kill one of um, our Sorbets here. Yep. Um, yeah, we take this too. We're fine with it. Still have to watch out for the Frost, though. Um, yeah, so we can put one Supernova in here. Um, we will... Hmm, we'll go face first for 20k crit. And then we'll play Raccoon. Hopefully we draw Ginyu. And then we play Birder. Birder off the top would be great. Ooh, we got a Secret Rare. We got a Secret Rare. That's pretty good. I just play Raccoon. We will take the life so then we can flip. Oh, yes! <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Untap two and then throw out Birder. Oh, man, that was, like, the best thing we could ask for right there. Oh, it's perfect. That is perfect. We'll flip. Another Birder. Yeah, that was... Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Um... Yes, yeah, so now now we push the aggro. 
Uh, turn four, we don't have our cooler, unfortunately, but we do have enough to mess with them. I could even discard here and Golden Death Beam this hit down, but we're really worried about Frost, so we're just going to try to kill him with our cards. If he uses cards out of hand, that's fine. Nope, he's just going to eat it. So we could put him down and load him up. I think we will, because he's only going to be on four resources next turn. He could put out a Gohan. Gohan puts negative 10,000 on something, and he has crit. But that's fine. If he flips, could be an issue, because then he could easily take out two of them. We do have this as a counter as well. No, I think we just push push damage into life. We, we have control of the board. We just push it through. He can flip here, it's fine. These guys get plus 5,000 power when he flips. He used his Gohan for power up? What the fuck? That... That is... That is interesting. So he must have another Gohan in hand or a better play. That is... That is a very interesting play there. It's very, very interesting. I would not expect that. So depending on what he plays, if he plays the Gohan, we might just drop the Supernova on one of our guys here next turn, just to keep him locked down. Although we really want to save it for our little Golden Freezer combo. Oh, okay, Son Goku. Um, gets plus 5,000, he gets to kill one of these just from coming in. But he doesn't have to take the life. That's not part of it. It just enters and kills one of my guys. Yeah, it's pretty good. But he is three or less, so we can kill him with Golden Death Beam. Uh huh. He's not gonna combo. That's fine. We just throw that in there immediately. Thirty thousand. Um. If we had a super combo, we'd do it. We're not going to give up two cards for that, though. That's fine. Alright. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. So I think we do want to get rid of our Frieza here. He might not have the Frost. And at this point in time of the game... I don't think it really matters too much, if I'm being honest. So we'll attack his life. We'll see what we draw. Oh, we get a cooler. That is pretty rock solid there. But we could put two bodies out and spread the damage across. That cooler is really good. That cooler is really good. Uh-huh. That's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Decision time. Decision time. So I think we will do the raccoon play. I'm not going to add the life to my hand. Don't add. Throw out birder. So we have the one resource up. We kill Mr. Son Goku here. If he has a frost, this is going to suck. But this feels like the right play. And now we can just try to push through some damage. Because next turn we can play Golden Frieza, reset an energy with our cooler, and then pop Supernova on him. And just really force through two damage. So we're trying to chip him down to two here to really force it. But if he wants to keep using cards from hand, that's perfectly fine too. That's perfectly fine. You should not do what he's doing. Wearing this damage would probably be like wearing at least one or one damage where you're down to three would probably be preferable. That way you're not you're up eight cards instead of down six. Um, he probably has the double strike Gohan, uh, uh, Goku in hand, but we're at four life. We don't really care. 
Um, and if he wants to put everything on that, that's fine. He'll kill one of our guys from him ETBing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, minus 20,000. So he kills one. He could wipe our board here. Um, we're just going to tap him down next turn anyway with uh, Golden Frieza. So it, it is what it is. Um, if we can keep one alive, that's pretty good. I think we want to do plus 10,000 here. Keep him alive. We'll keep one more on board. So we can spread out two bodies, swing twice at him, and then try to force through with that. That's perfectly fine. We will eat that damage. We want the cards in hand. He must have another um, double strike Goku in hand. That's all I can think. Um, we want the Chi Lai. So we'll, we're gonna charge. We're gonna charge with Golden Frieza here. We have plenty anyway. Um, so we'll attack. We want to try to. We want to try to get him down to two life, and then we can push with this Golden Frieza. He hasn't used one super combo though, so that's worrying. Okay. He's trying he's trying to stay above that point. So what what we're gonna do here is we will go twenty-five, so he has to use the ten thousand, otherwise he takes the damage. Yep, perfect. Alright, so now we will play Golden Frieza. Uh, we will... Uh, this is kind of tough, because if he does have the... Um, if he does have another Goku, we might be in trouble here. But we're still going to do what we wanted to do here. Um, hmm... Yeah, we want to force through that damage. It does give him more cards to load up on. Ah, do we now? No, you know what? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. And that won't let me go back. So, okay, I guess we're I guess we're stuck on this path now. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, uh, yeah, cool. Thanks, game. Uh, there's no back button. Um, so we'll swing. We're going to lock down Mr. Goku here. And this is only active battle our turn anyway. Um, yeah, we're forcing, we're putting him down to one. But uh, if he has the Goku, this could be the, another five drop Goku. This could be a little bad. We'll see how much he has to pump it with. We do have twenty five thousand in hand, but doing this might be a mistake because we've just loaded him up with a few more cards. <laughs> so if he has another double strike, this could be bad. Because right away that that eats into our um, twenty or it's off the hop. Oh, okay, he doesn't. Are oh, he's trying to force cards from hand? If he had it, you would just slam it. Unless he's trying to get more cards to add, that could be it too. Yeah, that's fine. He can die. If he doesn't have the other five drop Goku, we might be all right here. Nah, okay, okay. We'll see what he does when he attacks. If he loads up, I think this is GG, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, it's GG. That's unfortunate. Uh, bop, bop. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. That was close. He didn't use the frost though. So but it was still nice having the golden death beam. It helped us a bit. Um I I, I don't know what I would have done different in that. Um maybe not swing with the double strike uh Frieza. 
that could have been a mistake. I probably should have just left it on board. Um, but it, it gave him more cards. But it, we were dead either way because that um, just his default stat line with uh, Universe 7 Goku pumps him up to 40,000. So it's already eating our um, super combo and uh, any other combo card we have in hand. Right, we want to we want to be hyper aggro here, so this hand is actually pretty good. We're gonna keep this into Broly. I'm your biggest. So Shimoen, what do we want to charge here? Um, we can charge uh, this Frieza. The the four drop Frieza in this matchup is um absolutely needed. Um, hmm. I might tap down his Shimoen with my one drop Frieza just to really force force through that crit damage and really put him behind. And then we can even kill it with uh, our Frieza as well, which is nice. Yeah, either we're getting a card out of his hand or we're getting a card from his life. So we're, it's it's a win-win for us. What do we get? Uh, okay, so, oh, he's, okay, so he's running the Sun Goku package. So that's going to be a 25,000 when he has a Gohan in his drop. And then we'll kill his Shimon. It's fine. If he has a Paragus next turn, that, it is what it is. But well, we'll get it off the board. Make him have that Paragus. Next turn, we are 100% dropping this... Um, to drop Frieza, we need to um, put our Awakener out ASAP. And plus, he just taps things down, which is great. Into somebody who's running the one drop uh, Shimoans. Take the damage. Perfectly fine. That's good in this matchup, too. Any default vanilla 25,000 is great uh, late game. Hmm. <sighs> do we take the critical damage here? We probably do. We don't want to take another card out of hand to keep one alive. We do want to lose life, and we want to awaken as quick as possible. So that's fine. It sucks. Nobody likes getting hit with crit, but we'll take it. And it was just a sorbet anyway, so perfectly fine. Alright, um, we can get one, rid of one of our raccoons. We only need one, really. Um, and then we will swing at his life to start for 20k crit. And then we're going to play our Frieza, and we're going to go in and try to clear, clear him off the board. We got a super combo out of hand for one crit. That's that's incredible. Th this guy is probably a new player. <laughs> I do not recommend that. That is not a uh, good line of play. Um, I would take the crit. That those super combos in game are very very good. <laughs> so we don't need to tap anything, but we do want to awaken. And we got our super combo. That is something we do want to see. And then we'll just end. If he uses another card out of hand, he's down to two cards. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Yeah, this, this guy is a uh, very new player, unfortunately, for him. Uh, well, that's fine. He can stay up. Um, we'll just use him as a combo. We probably don't want to take another crit damage here, um, even though we do want to awaken, but we'll awaken with Raccoon coming in anyway. And then we'll also get a free Ginyu, and then we'll have um, two more resources up. Hopefully we draw into one of our mini two drops in the deck next turn. We'll get two chances because we'll be able to awaken and we'll draw off the top. So odds are we should get a decent two drop. And then we can just really force through that damage. We want to be really aggro with Broly. Because once he gets um, to uh, five and above, that's when we have some problems. So um, 
Yeah, I don't want to take this. I'm going to put that Frieza there. Even if he hits me with Broly, that's fine. I'll take that damage. Uh, you don't need to do Raccoon's ability. He has another crit. Okay, that's a little annoying. Um, we really don't want to take this crit damage. We're taking another card out of hand. He only has one card in hand. At this point, we can. We're winning the card advantage battle immensely. And then we'll just clear up his board next turn. He has one card. He's going to have two cards because he will swing with a lead. Probably at me. Uh, he might swing here and go down to just one card. Yeah, okay. I was about to say that would be really weird. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we will eat this, that is for sure. Okay. Not the best card in this matchup, but hey man, auto ta uh, a free tap, you know, for that is fine. Um, we got our two drop. Um, hmm, we will probably put that, uh, freeze we just got into charge, because we do need the four drop. Uh, he's very, very good in this matchup. Uh, but we will start off... I could hit him for another crit. Um, I actually will. And then I'll flip after. Uh, getting two cards for us is less of an advantage at this point than giving him a card and hitting him. Because he's down to two. So if we can chip another life and just keep him at two, that's great for us. We're going to give him more here because we're going to start applying pressure. Okay, four drop really. That's pretty good. So we're going to play. So we're fl we'll flip. Golden Death Beam is pretty decent in this, not gonna lie. Uh, we, yeah, this poor guy's playing the starter, man. We'll play Raccoon. Uh, yep, all those come in. We'll play, uh, we won't add the life to hand, don't need to. We'll play Ginyu. Because we have two other Freezes army, he will be the third. We get to untap two of our energy. And then we'll play a Zarbon. And we will not take life of Zarbon either. But we will clean up our opponent's board. If he actually wants to combo here, um, that's not good for him. <laughs> it's uh, really not recommended to do so. Hmm. Is he just going to rage quit? Is this what's happening here? Oh, no, okay. He's letting it go. Okay. Um, We're not going to use that because that's going to use our energy. We'll, we'll smack him. Get rid of him. Yep. And then we'll push through a bit of damage. So we're not going to take him down to four because I don't want him to get the, uh, to five energy. So when he awakens, he'll go down to three life, but he does get another energy. And then when he untaps, he'll go to four and then he gets to play us, so he'll go to five. We don't want him to get to five before we start going all in. Um, so we're just going to end the turn there. We're hoping we hit Golden Freeze off the top, but four drop Frieza is pretty good. We'll drop him after we pour through all the damage next turn. We'll probably take two of our guys and combo them into the swings so we get a nice uh, 25,000 across the board. Um, I'll swing first with Cooler. Force that damage through. Then after this, I'll probably uh, put Ginyu into Zarbon and Raccoon into Frieza. Uh, mm, we could block, but we're not going to. We do need the bodies on the board and taking one life at this point is fine. We want more cards in hand. And he was going to combo anyway, so that's fine. Yep, I don't care. I'll take the damage. And we got Cooler. Um, he's not bad. He's a way to force through more damage.
So now we gotta see what he has. Okay, so he's ramping. Yep. So if we do awaken him, he's gonna be at seven next turn. So we're one we're one away from Broly. Um hmm, now I'm almost tempted to play the cooler so we can tap down and kill his Shimoan that he's gonna get here. We could nah, no, it's not rested. Yeah, I think Cooler's gonna be our play here. It is a 30k body. Um, and he is a blocker. Um I think we're gonna charge Golden Death Beam at this point. There's no real point in having it this late into the game. Um instead of swinging first with lead, I am gonna play the cooler just so I can get him out of the way and I can force through that damage. Um Could also get rid of his Paragus. You know what? No, no. We'll do this. We'll do this. We'll swing it face with lead. If he does want to block... Ooh, we got our 5-drop Frieza. Okay. Hmm. I think we still go the cooler way. Yeah, that's fine. I don't think we rush it that hard. We could really force through that damage with... Um, Mr. Frieza here, but 30k, killing him, uh, restanding, pretty good. Especially because he hasn't flipped yet, so. And he has one card in hand, so we'll hit him a few times. He's going to get two cards minimum in hand. No, he'll get one card minimum in hand. He'll take one damage and he'll probably awaken. So I'm, I'm betting this last card in hand is a Broly. Um. Odds are that's what it is. Um, yeah. Swing 20k. Our next turn, we definitely want to throw out Golden Frieza. So... This cooler might just be used to combo to force through more damage. We'll see if he wake awakens. He probably will, so we'll swing in here. Um, hmm. No, we don't want to add the life. I could tap him down and swing into Paragus. Uh, we might do that, actually. Um, yep, step in. We'll let him awaken. Yep. So that will bounce. That's fine. We're still going to force through quite a bit of damage here. The only thing we got to worry about is if he somehow has a um, Gohan in hand, a 7-drop Secret Rare Gohan. If he does, that could be really bad for us. So I think we got to kind of play like that's going to happen and just kind of force through damage. Yep, so he's dead. And then we'll swing with Mr. Zarbon here. Um, we will combo. Just to force her that damage. Or force a card from his hand. Yep. That is fine. And then... Um, yeah, if we would have gotten one more damage there, we probably would have forced that Golden Frieza in. Um... I don't think we need to worry about Color more. I think we just play Big Booty uh, Frieza here. And just smack him with 40s. Yeah. Yeah, he, he can't play he can't play Broly next turn. And then we got game after that turn. And then we will do our skill. We will discard Cooler. We don't need him anymore. Restand uh, Frieza. And we're going to end our turn on that. We're not going to give him any extra card draw. We have plenty of board control here. Um, we're one double strike away from killing him. He's going to get a max. If he even does his little combo thing, he's going to have three cards in hand. Uh, we're fine. He's not going to be able to force the damage through and kill us here. We got two super combos in hand as well. Yep, so he'll draw his card. He goes to 30,000. 
Um, I think at this point we just use our super combos in all honesty. It's just uh, any variables that happen. We want to keep our board alive. We can combo in and just chip away. He's going to get smacked here, though. And we can keep we can use our board to buff Golden Freeze and just finish it. Um, yeah, we eat this damage. That's fine. I don't care. It's one damage. Yep. And he has six mana, so, like, we don't even have to worry about Broly at all. And the game's over after this turn, anyway. He used too many cards to combo our opponent. He should have held off a bit. Okay, yep, Paragus. Is he gonna have the life? Maybe he should at this point. Yeah, get another card. Maybe he should. Um, he can attack and get his Shimoan. That's not gonna really do anything. Uh, just we don't want to get down to one life. Uh, uh, he can't even get to one life if he doesn't combo. Yeah. Oh, he might combo. Uh, use his Shimoan to combo. Uh, yeah, we'll just use our Zarbon to combo out of that. That's fine. I don't want to go down to one life. We probably could. He does have four man up. I don't want to see his 40,000 Broly come down and, you know, just kind of steal the game. Yeah, cool. There it is. He might have had that forward drop Broly in hand. I think that was probably his out. We could have defended against it, but still, like, we want to, want to watch out a bit. <laughs> Oh boy. We promoted. What are we? Uh oh. Rank increase battle. Whoa. Whoa. Alright. Some harder opponents here soon. Like once we get out of bronze. Bronze is um it's a lot of starter decks and a lot of people definitely don't know what they're doing. So hopefully stuff get starts getting harder. And um we can really see how the uh, cooler deck holds up into tougher opponents with full meta decks. I, I know the Broly match will get a lot harder. Uh, Gohan, I'm pretty confident into. We have a really fast low to the ground uh, package that can overwhelm Gohan, but Broly's a problem. No, no opponents found. Come on, man. Let me rank up. Hey, all right, let's see what we got. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh, he has zero ranking points. What? All right, this could be, this could go one way or the other. This dude could smoke me. Or I could smoke him. Uh, oh, man, we're going to keep this. We got two gainers here. That's, uh, well, I guess I'm keeping it anyway. I was really torn. We will see more card draw. Please, player two. Please, player two. Ah, never, never, player two. Um, hmm. we'll charge one of our breezes. We really only need one, and then we'll end our turn. It's the only reason I kind of want that one drop getting you in there. Comes in, he's a card draw. Along with our sorbets, like having eight options for extra card draw is nice, especially in cooler. You do struggle with the card draw. Yep, we take the damage, that is fine. Okay, very good in the matchup, but we don't want to see that yet. Uh, hopefully, okay, Raccoon, we definitely want to keep him. Ah, this is tough. This is great for forcing through damage end game, but I think we actually got to charge it. Um, we won't play anything yet. We'll try to hit him for 15k crit. Or 2,000, uh, sorry, 20,000 crit. Yep. What do we get? 
we got a okay, four drop early. We will play Mr. Frieza. Um, I really, I don't want to attack him, but I really want the um life. So we'll swing into him. We do want to be aggro, so you know this kind of works. Next turn we get the raccoon out. Hopefully we see a Ginyu soon. But we do have a uh, raccoon into birder, which is not bad at all. Mm-hmm. Does he have? He does not have his Shimoan. But he could play one. If he wants to use his energy, I don't recommend that. You probably want to save your energy, but... The good thing is, it's turn three. Or, well, turn two. Okay. Interesting. It's not a bad play. It's not a bad play. Hmm. We definitely want to keep that around. We want the gainer. But we do have a gainer here, and he's going to hit face next turn. That's fine. We can let him die, because we're still going to get our four... Down to four life. He's going to hit us here. We're going to play Raccoon. We'll get four life. That can die. And then we'll kill him. Yep. We will take this damage. Another four drop freeze of that. It's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, oh, man, so many golden freezes. Um, hmm. I like having Cooler as a potential way to get rid of his little guys here, so... Hmm. Back-to-back -back golden freezes could be good. I think we do actually charge one of the four-drop freezes here. I'll swing for crit. He can awaken, that's fine. He want to awaken. He doesn't want to get crit. That's fine, man. We get a card out of his hand either way. I'm sweet with that. Uh, yeah, cool. And then we'll play Raccoon. We will take the life so we can awaken. And then we'll play Birder. Unfortunately, we didn't get the Ginyu luck we had last game. Uh, we're going to swing into Paragus here. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we will flip. And, yep, we will swing. We want to crack into him as fast as possible. We'll get him down to three. Yep, and then he can awaken. He goes to three. He's not going to get his ramp this turn. He'll kill one of our 20Ks, but that's fine. Um, we're going to drop uh, the 4-drop freeze the next turn. That will really force some damage through or force a lot of cards out of his hand if he doesn't want to take the damage. And then we have back-to-back 5-drop -back golden freezes to follow up. So if he ramps here, um, if he ramps here, he gets to 6, and then we have 7 next turn. He's going to go face. That is interesting. Uh, we will take it. We're fine with that. He could have the 30k Broly coming down next, but that's fine, man. He's He, he probably sees these as 20k, so he's not worried. Um, it's probably going to be a mistake. Okay. Um, hmm. So now we could put down the cooler and just get rid of that. And that way we can force more damage through. We could just swing face with um, cooler and see if he just wants to uh, block, though. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yeah, we don't want to take critical here. That's fine. Hmm. 
Oh my god, we're definitely charging one of the coolers. Uh, I think, you know, and we're gonna we're gonna have to clear up his board here a bit, especially get these blockers out of the way, get some of these crits out. He's got four cards in hand. Uh, cooler will definitely be the way to do that, and I can force three damage into him. These guys can clean him out. So we will... Nah, we're gonna do this this way. Um, yeah. So we'll play cooler instead of uh, swinging right away. Uh, we will go face, but we're going to kill the Shimon. Yep, and then we'll kill Paragus next with our restand and second swing. Yep. And we'll use uh, our cooler to smack into him. We could double swing into him, but we'll double swing with a 30k. Of course, card's out of hand. Yep. Um, swing in here, draw a card. That's yeah, perfectly fine. Use those cards out of hand, please. We want that all day, every day. Uh, please use another card out of hand, sir. <laughs> He's only got five mana next turn. Um, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot here. Um, I don't even need to use him anymore. I could threaten here for more damage. I'll force another card out of his hand or he takes it, because then I can just swing with him next. Uh, yeah, we don't care about the four drop freeze anymore. He's really good, but uh, we're gonna play back to back golden freezes. Yep, perfect. Got a ultra combo out. That is beautiful. Um, we will now use cooler's skill to restand our four drop cooler. Um, we will discard one of our coolers. We don't need them anymore. Uh, restand your boy. We will swing face again for 30k, and we will kill your Paragus. And then um, I'm pretty sure it's GG's at this point. He takes this, he goes to four, he draws, he goes to five. He doesn't take it. Oh, well, he's still going to take it. There's only 5k, dude. Oh, no. What a waste of a card. All right. Yeah, it's, it's GG's. I can even restand this cooler now. Um, I might do it. Uh, I'll get rid of one of these freezes. Um, oh, it's there's not going to be another turn after this. This is GG's after this point. Next turn, he's it's done. Um, yeah, so we'll use his skill. We'll discard one of our golden freezes and we'll restand cooler. Um, and we will take this damage. So is that a glitch? Is, oh, okay, now he's standing again. Okay, so that is kind of a glitch. That is kind of a glitch. Napa. Uh, no, no, okay, no, I don't want to take any more damage. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, Ginyu, I don't need you anymore. Golden Death Beam can kill him, so we'll put this here. Um, actually, we don't even need to worry about that, because we can just perma lock him down with this. Uh, sure, we will swing at your face for 30. Unfortunately, he's broken. You can't kill this in the real game. You should be able to kill this, but you can't here. Um, yeah, we'll just combo. Uh, force him to have, hmm, what is that, super combo takes him 45, we'll make him a super combo, and then something else, nope, okay, we got it, we didn't even need our golden freeze though, and we're silver rank, baby, let's go, <laughs> oh, 
Does it look cool? That's nah, alright. It's not the coolest. That's alright. Oh! I got a title! Oh, well, we gotta put the title right. But then again, we're always beginners. Nah, we're a beginner. We're still learning. Alright, let's let's go again. Let's see. Let's see how we play into the um into the silver rank guys. No, this guy's bronze. And he's Vegeta. Okay, time to get a redemption against Vegeta. We can't play like assholes. <laughs> This is a good hand. We're going to keep this hand. Two gainers. We just need to find um, another Ginyu Force. Another two drop Ginyu Force, sorry. So we'll charge one of them. One of the Raccoons. Of course, I'm not going second. Why would I? And we'll end our turn. Yep, we will take the damage. That's fine. Mm -hmm. So his blocker Bulma there. Um, hmm. I think we charge one of our golden freezes. Um, Bulma's a bit of a nuisance. I definitely want to force through the damage with crit. Hmm, so instead of playing this, I could tap this down and then swing in. She's only 5,000 power. I'm kind of tempted to do that, but we also need to gain life. So we'll just do the what we should do play-wise. So we want to get that crit damage through. So we'll attack. I don't want to go full crit on him, but, you know, kind of want to control his board. But we'll add the life to our hand. We want to awaken as quick as possible. Tap down Bulma. And then step in. Perfect. We got Ginyu. So now we're set up here pretty good. If he kills this, not the best setup. But um, I have a feeling he'll probably just try to go... Try to go face on me. We'll see. If he kills my Frieza, it could be a bit of a problem. Okay. That's fine. He does want to stay 7 or below card, so... He'd probably be more inclined to do that. We'll end. Um, I don't know if we really push too hard to try to keep the Frieza alive. It's nice having this little combo here with uh, Rakuma and Ginyu, and then you get another 2-drop. But it's not really worth the cost of cards from hand to keep that alive. So if he wants to use cards to try to kill it, that's fine. He could swing in and then use Trunks to combo. Gotenks, I think, just returns it to hand. Yeah, that just returns it to hand. Yeah, that's fine. We're going to have to play more board control here. Yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, we eat it. And then we're going to swing here. God, we're charging one of those freezes, that's for sure. Um... Yeah, we want to awake him, that's fine. Yeah, man, we got a fat hand. Oh my god, <laughs> three freezes. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, one of the freezes goes. Um, so, here we want to flip, because we're not going to swing face with... Um, cooler and the Vegeta. We don't care about the crit at that point. We're going to try to kill his board. So this way we get two card draw out of it instead of the one card draw. It's a better play given what we're doing. And we have an 11 card hand. This is massive. Yeah, cool.
Because he knows I has, have the Frieza in hand. So if you want, okay, yeah, that's cool. So he probably has Gotenks next turn. Oh no, Gotenks is a four draw. Um, yep, cool. So we do our Raccoon, but we don't take the life. Mm, yeah, if we have one more energy, man, Cooler would be great in this situation. Cooler next turn. Oh man, that's gonna be amazing. Play him. We won't add the life. Unfortunately, we don't get the Ginyu combo. But, I mean, we get another two drop out. Um, yep, swing into him. Take cards from his hand. That's fine. The next swing, we might pump it up a bit with... Um, but then he'll just block. Um, he can return Ginyu to hand. Okay, yep, that's, that's fine, man. So we will we will add the Zarbon. We don't need life gain. We don't care about Walker. And then um, it makes him have a 10k out of hand, and then uses Trunks over here as well. So getting two cards for one is pretty good. Yep. Dies, dude. Ah, oh, man. I think this guy's new as well. <laughs> Poor guy. That's <laughs> wasted a card for nothing. Yeah, cool. Uh, get, bouncing getting you back to my hand, man. Personally, that is amazing for me. Yeah, that is, that is just super. <laughs> That's, thank you. And then he's going to combo to kill him. Oh my god, yes. That's fine. We will take that all day, every day. Uh, this might change our next play uh, quite a lot. Um, I have to have him live, though, in order for this to happen. I think we do this. Because then we play Ginyu, get two mana back, and then drop our cooler. So, yeah, uh-huh, uh, no, we don't. What do we do here? We can drop Frieza, drop our Ginyu, drop another Frieza, and then just kind of go to town on our opponent here. Yeah, we keep this alive. We keep this alive. Yep, combo away, man. Um, four drop freeze is not needed. We do need to keep this alive. Him putting that Ginyu back to our hand was not a good move. Now we can just get a massive port state. Yep. Um. Who do we want to charge? Uh, we could even just Golden Death Beam down. So what are we doing this turn? So we're going to 4 and then 5. I don't think we even need Cooler, if I'm being perfectly honest. Actually, we don't need one of these, because we'll do this little combo here. Nah, we'll... Oh man, this stuff. Yeah, we'll get rid of... We'll get rid of Cooler. Uh, we don't need him. Um, we'll swing here first, see if he just takes it. If he doesn't, now we have another one drop play, so we can... Oh, yep, cool. Alright, um, yeah, cool, so we're just gonna do this then. So we'll get our Ginyu. I misplayed. <laughs> I misplayed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, okay, well, that was gonna be a good play, but, um, yeah, I punted. I should have played this first, and then they get you, and then I could play the other one. Oh god, that was bad. Uh, I think we should, <laughs> I think we should still be alright, though. Um, yeah, having four bodies would have been pretty good. Look, we're not going to attack, we'll end the turn here. I don't want to give him any more cards than he already has in hand. 
Uh, it could have kind of screwed him because everything's based around seven cards in hand with uh, Vegeta. But we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. We have really good board presence here. Yeah, there's the Gotenks. And now he has to swing face. He can't clean up board with anything. We just get our Golden Freeze out next turn, and we'll perma lock the Gotenks. Uh, we eat the damage from the Gotenks. Um, Vegeta can't do anything unless he combos, so we just eat the one damage, and then we should be set up fine. But yeah, no. The, the optimal play would have been Frieza, then Ginyu, reset to energy, and then another Frieza. <laughs> Um, yeah, he just did that to draw a card, that's fine. So then we'll have Gotenks swing into us. Um, he'll probably have his double draw, our double strike Vegeta next turn, so we gotta watch out for that. We definitely want more super combos, especially because we're gonna be loading up his hand too. Hmm, it's kind of risky. Um,. I don't think we take the damage here. We, we want to try to we want to try to stay out of a really bad position with back-to-back -back double strikes next turn. Um, yep. So we don't need Mr. Ginyu. We'll put him here. Um. Yeah, cool. So we can just start going face on our opponent. Cool, we got another super combo. Very, very good. Swing in. We do not want to add life. He can awaken now. He's still going to have to use a card to stay above that 20 k threshold. He's thinking about it. No, he's going to take it. Okay. He's probably going to be able to get out of the... Um, He's going to be able to get out of um, the double strike, but we're going to lock down Gotenks. And even if he plays his um, Vegeta, we're going to do everything to keep our Golden Freeze alive. So we got two, two super combos in hand. That should help quite a bit. Yep. We'll swing again. Yeah. So we can't kill him, but we'll we'll play this, and we'll lock down his Gotenks. Uh, he can pump him to 35k to swing into him as well, so we're probably going to get two 35k swings. That's fine. We're not going to pump at all. Permatap, Gotenks, and we'll swing. He's gonna do everything he can to try to kill this double fire, uh, this double strike uh, golden freeze the next turn. So he probably has the five. He's without a doubt gonna have that one five drop freeze in hand, or Vegeta in hand. So he's gonna bottom one of my, one of these three. Um, he could clean out the rest of the board, but he's probably gonna try to all in with his leader. Only has nine. He has nine cards, so he won't be able to swing 35k with uh, Vegeta actually. But his uh, five drop Vegeta is 35,000. With these two, we can pump our uh, Golden Frieza up to 75 on defense. And if we're able to do that, we probably take the game.
Oh, he's thinking. Because he knows if he plays that Vegeta, it really puts him in a bad spot. Because it's going to be locked down after he swings with it anyway. If he does put him in, he's going to want to bottom him, so I can't swing and just tap him down. Oh, no, I can't tap him down. It's three or less. If he doesn't swing, that's probably the best choice he can make with that um, Vegeta. If he drops it. But with the nine cards in hand, so he's probably throwing up if he wants to put down two smaller drops to try to get down to seven cards to get 35,000 power with uh, his leader Vegeta. Okay, final flash, yep. Oh, yeah, final flash. That is very good. But now he can't play his, um, whatchamacallit. So he puts golden Frieza bottom. Completely forgot about final flash. Yep, that's pretty good. But we're still all right. We have a lot of opportunities to force through just one damage. And we could still pull any one of our big boys off the top. We've only put two of them in here. So we know one Golden Frieza's bottom. So we have two Golden Frieza, three coolers, and four four drop uh, Frieza's floating around. And that four drop Frieza or Cooler is pseudo double strike with uh, Mr. Cooler here. Yep, so 25,000. Yeah, at the life. Let's do it. <laughs> uh huh. 35, yep. If he's smart, he tries to clear the board here to try to preserve his life. Yeah, okay, that's the better play. Um, I think we super combo. We want to keep our pressure on board. I still think we super combo. Hmm, do I? He has one more resource up. Yeah, I think a super combo. I keep him alive. I want to keep applying pressure. Yep, draw a card. It's fine. Alright. Having two more 20Ks is pretty nice, man. Um, Sorbet is card draw. I think we use this, though, to take care of him. So we'll charge with Sorbet. Or do we charge at all? Yeah, potentially, because we could get another two drop. We drop six guys down on the board. We do charge. So we're going to swing... We'll swing at his face first. We'll force this. We got Ginyu. I mean, he untaps, untaps. <laughs> um, well, he's free. He's a free card at this point. I think we do keep him in hand. He can just use his trunks to combo here. And survive this damage. It's fine. We're going to have 20k across a lot of bodies here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. And then we'll swing here. Um, we kind of got it all in. But we'll wait. We'll wait and see what he does. Do not add to him. Because if I take one... Ah oh, man, yeah, this is this is kind of like we have to win here. We could control his board a bit, but I think going face, we're gonna force more cards out of his hand this way. Um, yep. So we will go again. Yep. Yeah, we 
will go again. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to all in here. He's going really long cards. He's got four more cards. If two of them are those five drop uh, Vegetas, he's got no um, chance. So we'll play this. It's a free card because we'll restand those two mana. Yeah. Back up. Swing. We can also restand Frieza. Yep, he's using super combos now. I think we got this. We're just gonna go super wide. Just slowly chip at him. We'll add a life. We got Birder. Yeah, cool. We're good. We got two more loaded up. And we can restand with Golden Death Beam. We got this. Two drops for days. <laughs> we are going wide. Very, very wide. <laughs> and then we can restand with our last card in hand. Yeah, cool. We got him. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> we finally got there. The super wide strategy win. Oh, man. That was wild. That was wild. <laughs> Must not be very many silver players, man. Another Vegeta. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. Vegeta so far has been the most difficult to go against. Uh, we will keep. Please go second. Please, I want to go second. Please. Ah, come on, man. Just one game. Uh, oh, Supernova is pretty neat in this matchup. Um, oh. Being able to permatap two things, because he's probably going to have a semi-decent board is pretty nice. Um, mm, I think we charge Supernova regardless, though. And then we in turn. That was tough. That was tough. I was from between the Frieza and... Supernova probably could should have kept the Supernova, but you know just having a 10k auto tapper if he does have a blocker that's really annoying. It's nice to get that out of the way. Yeah, we take it. We're gonna keep Zarbon up. We're not gonna swing with him. Well, we will take the life. So that way we can play Birder. Ah, oh, now we need Raccoon for the combo. Ugh. I should have put Frieza down. Then I could have gone Frieza into Zarbon, then Ginyu, and then Birder. Really get a board fast. Um, we're gonna charge one of our Zarbons. We do not need two Zarbons. And then we'll swing 20k crit at their face. And we'll either get a card out of hand, or they will lose a card to the graveyard. He's thinking about it. I don't blame him. Critical is scary, man. People, people sleep on critical. Critical is scary. <laughs> yeah, cool. We get a card out of his hand. That's perfect. It's fine for us. And then we'll put Zarbon out. Uh, we will take a life. Because we want to awaken as quick as possible. Ooh, we got the shiny Frieza. And then we'll end. So technically next turn, if I don't have the Raccoon, I can drop the tapping Frieza into Ginyu. It will see that I have three Frieza's army. And I untap two, then can play a Birder and get a really uh, wide board state. And we can tap down one of these and chip them and kill them. Like, it, it, it's a 5,000 free counter, so we get rid of a counter for him. Getting all the card draw. All the trunks. Yeah, we take the damage. We want to 
awaken. We want those cards. No, the Sarbon. We don't want that card, though. Ah, you know what? You know what? I lied. We do want that. We do want that. Um, hmm, don't want the 40 drop Frieza. 40k Frieza. Probably not. Okay. So what we'll do is we will... We'll swing... Uh, yeah, we'll swing face. We'll see if he uses any of his trunks here. He can use two. We'll tap down the last one and kill it because we can. <laughs> he should use two of them. He wears it. Okay. That's interesting. But okay. What do we get? Uh, okay. Alright. So we will drop Frieza. Not the best use of them. Tap down one of these guys. Then we'll play Ginyu, and then we get our little combo. We get a restand to after playing him, because we have three Freezes army now. Yep. Boop, boop. And then we'll play a Zarbon. We will add a life to hand. And then we will flip. Alright. So now we have our board. <laughs> We'll kill him. And we will chip at Mr. Vegeta here. We'll hit him twice. We'll leave one of our blockers up. We'll put him up to a lot of cards in hand. He's based around seven cards, so he'll have nine. Uh, he'll drop to ten, then go back down to nine. Um, just makes life a little bit more difficult for him. To work around that seven. And then we'll end our turn. So it'd be nice if we got one of our big four drops next turn. Um, mainly cooler. I Frieza, I don't really care about him in this matchup. But uh, cooler. Cooler would be very nice. Yep. So he's going to return one of our two drops to hand. Probably the untapped uh, Zarbon, I would assume. Okay. Uh, that's weird. Do I care? He's a 10k counter. I don't care. No, that's fine. <laughs> Throw him into there. That's fine. He did have to add the life to hand, so he could bounce this back, but he skipped it, I guess. That's weird. Okay, cool. So you can awaken. But he'll add another card, so he'll go up to 10. Yep. Honestly, I honestly think we just kind of push next turn, like, even harder. Doing the right thing, clearing out board. Um, if he doesn't pump, I do not want to lose him to that, so I will just throw my Zarbon in front of it. Hmm. That's fine. Bodies on board are always better. Yep, more card draw for him. But she doesn't want. He wants he wants to stay below that seven. Ah that's pretty nice. Um I think we charge Zarbon here. We'll play Sorbet. We want the card draw. See what we get. Ginyu. Um, that's even better now, because now we can do this. We will kill little Gotenks over here. Yep. And then we will swing face. Draw another card. We don't need a combo.
He's not using the cards on the battlefield, which is really freaking weird, man. You should 100% do that. I don't know what he's doing there. Um, yeah, we're going to put Ginyu in. He's basically free. We'll restand two, and then we'll play our... He's on five next turn. So we're going to want to keep two of our blockers up. Don't want to get just double striked out of nowhere. That's never fun. We're going to tap down one of the trunks. Do not add. Yep. Oh, sorry, step in. That's my fault. It's good. Wife made me an aviation. It is uh, very spicy. That's good. That's good. Hi, puppy. What are you doing? Oh, God. Ah! My dog's attacking. <laughs> um, we'll kill his trunks. Come on. Come on out, puppy. Come on. No. Come on. Hi. Oh, God. <laughs> Unplugged my headset. It's too excited, man. We're not gonna attack him anymore, cause he's gonna—he's trying to get down to seven cards. So, hmm. this is tough. It's—it's a, it's a weird game into Vegeta, cause he wants to get down to that um, seven cards, but we also want to force through damage on him, man. We're just gonna end it there. Yep, there it is. So he's going to bottom one of these more than likely. And that's why we kept them both up. We don't want to get hit with double strike. Yeah, 15,000. That's fine. We'll take the shot from him. Because if he has back-to-back -back double strike Vegeta's, that would be a problem. Uh, yeah, cool. No. You can take him, buddy. Yep. Um, yeah, we're going to block. And then we will end our step. Alright. So you know we have back-to-back -back Vegetas. That's pretty good. Um, we will charge with our survey. Um, we will swing at his face. We're not going to combo. Mm-hmm. That is fine with us. Um, we will swing at his face. You will not take life. And we'll end. We want to combo uh, Sorbet with our Golden Freeze to take up to 40k. So he has to use a super and something else out of hand. Or else he's eating two, two damage. But he just doesn't want to take any damage though. Then we'll go again. Yep. 
And then we'll play a uh, Golden Frieza. We could restand our Vegeta and swing again. Um, we could restand an energy and draw, but we have to discard a card from hand. I don't think we really care about that right now. Swinging one more time. Oh, no, we could force one more. We'll force one more attack there. So, yep, confirm. And then we will combo here. Force him to have a super combo and something else. Yep, and one more card, please. Thank you. Um... You know what? Yeah, we'll end it. I don't want to force through one more attack. Uh... Yeah, no, I do. I do. I definitely do. I definitely do. What am I talking about? Um, we will get rid of... Uh, Big Booty Frieza. We're not going to use him. Uh, we will restand this Frieza, and we'll swing again. And we are not going to have life to hand. Even if he has a double strike, that's fine. He's not going to be able to kill us next turn. If he goes super wide, he might be able to, though. There's always that option. So we're going to see. We're going to see if mistakes are made or what happens. He has to win this turn, though. If he plays another five drop freeze, we won the game. Yep. So we'll have to eat this one to our face. It's probably gonna go after golden. If he goes after golden freeze and he doesn't combo, man, we we're sweet. That's very interesting. <laughs> sure, you can have him. Is this five drop or less with this? It's four drop, so he might have a. I have a Gallic Gun. Or not a Gallic Gun, what's the other one? Final Flash. No, Bulma. Okay. And I see what you're doing. That's not bad. It's not bad. Ah, he does have Final Flash. Okay, yeah, cool. I think, uh, no, but we gotta keep this locked down. Ah! Mm. We drop this just in case. We don't need that. Um, we'll swing face. Counter Golden Frieza. Frieza, Golden Frieza's for days. Uh, we are not short on the Golden Frieza camp. Uh, yep. Step in. Kind of try to force him to block that Bulma. If he's smart, he, he doesn't. He's got to play like I have another Golden Frieza in hand. Which I have two. I have two in hand. Especially if you see me charging a cooler, you know I got to have something big. Why else would I charge a uh, cooler? <laughs> okay, so he's not good. That's smart. All right. Now we'll force him to either use a card or wear it. Debating, does he block or does he not? If he blocks here, that means he probably doesn't have that many counters in hand. No, okay. So he's gonna live. Hmm. The only thing is, I can't use his ability to restand anything outside of a resource at this point. 
But we gotta use Golden Frieza. It's gonna block with Bulma. Unfortunately, I have no interaction there, but I can perma tap his five drop. So that's what we're looking for. Use Gallic Gun. What? It's pretty good. It's a pretty good get. Yeah. Now I kind of wish we had the cooler. <laughs> Probably would've been pretty good. Oh, oh, no. oh, dude, we win. We win. We got this. Oh, we got this right here. Um. Yep, so we'll use his skill. Uh, we will discard one of our golden freezes to restand in energy. We will play this. We will tap down on Bulma. We will play Golden Frieza. And we will go for it. And we're going to perma tap him. And boom. And boom. Of course, I'm going to have a minimum of two super combos. Yeah, there's one. Needs need a lot more, dude. He needs two 10Ks. No, he needs three, two, three 10Ks. I think uh, we might have it unless he has he has two resource stuff, so he might have another Gallic gun. No. Okay, he's good. We got no cards in hand. Um, if he has another final flash, we're in a bad spot. Um, it felt like that was the play to go, is just try to go for it right there. That might have been a bad idea. He can just clean up my board very easily now. Yeah, a little bit too greedy. Probably should have took the double strike. Yeah, and then he goes to the Golden Frieza. Yeah. Yeah. Might have been a bit greedy. Might have been a bit greedy. Might be able to top deck some love. <laughs> we get two shots. We get two shots at it. That's fine. Put him bottom. So we're gonna have more because he's gonna hit me for double strike. If he's smart, he does not swing now. If like yeah, that's smart. Smart play. Chi we don't wanna see Chi Lai. We will go face. Ah, it's probably GG's. Um he's not gonna block. He's not gonna block. Um Oh, we gotta try it, man. We just lose if we don't. We gotta try it. We gotta try it. <laughs> you gotta have a super combo and something else. Or he has a Gallic gun. He has a Gallic gun. Okay, plus 15. Oh, come on. Have no other card. Uh, Bulma gives him plus 15. Ah, that's GG's. He got us. He got us. That was very well played had is definitely Vegeta like all the other ones not much of an issue Vegeta is actually um, he's actually kind of been a pain in the ass man he, he hard counters um he hard counters Frieza pretty hard that um, that final flash is really good into our golden Frieza All right, Universe 7. This is a tough one. Um, I want this and I want Golden Death Beam, so I'm going to change. This hand's not too good to begin with anyway. Oh my god, I'm going second. Whoa! Going second is very nice. Oh, is that the... Yeah, okay, that's that one. Um, hmm. Let me get rid of this Frieza. And we'll drop a Sorbet. And then we'll swing 20k crit in his face. Yep, what do we get? Okay, 
That's not bad. Blocker 17. Very good. So Wiz is just going to straight up kill my Sorbet here. That's fine. He's just coming in to get the card roll anyway. We're taking the damage here. Again, as I've said a hundred times, ad nauseum. Oh, okay. Now if we get... Um, if we... He didn't swing. That's interesting. If we get our... Um, I'm trying to think what his build might be, though. I think we chuck... Uh, no, we'll chuck one of these. Um. Yeah, we need to uh, soften up his board a bit here. Uh, we will add the life to our hand. Thank you very much. And we'll tap down Android. And we'll swing. And then should swing for credit face, but we'll go for Android instead. We want to be the control players in this match, so we just want to we want to keep, keep his board in check. And Frieza there to get that tap down. Um, yeah, it's fine. We can take it. Ah, man, no Ganyus. Uh, early. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. He's gonna kill my Frieza. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Hmm. No tap downs, eh? We definitely wanna keep uh, your boy here. I need to go. Uh, I might get rid of one of them instead. Um, hmm. We'll play uh, uh, Zarbon and add a life so we can awaken. Not what I wanted to see. I, I want to see a tap down card. I really do. I want to get rid of this Goku. Because he's going to go up to 3,000 once we hit him. So we don't want to swing at him. I mean, we could we could flip instead of hitting him for crit. Get another card draw, Raccoon. Yeah, he's playing this correctly. Hmm. Let's swing at his face. He can awaken. It's gonna suck. Yeah, we didn't get what we wanted. Huh. This is... This is tough. So he's gonna be able to awaken now, next turn. Uh... Play our Sorbet. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna leave it like... Oh, Sorbet's gonna die. Ah, uh, that's still fine though. Whatever. So he'll awaken. That Goku's gonna be a 3000. His, um... Wiz is gonna be a 1500. Or 15,000? Um. We might just want to play uh, Double Strike. Frieza on curve here. Cooler could also work very well. Depending on what he drops and if he swings with it. Another Wiz, yeah. Those are fine now because they're 15s. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not bad. And hit, so, yeah. So you can just delete. Yeah, he's gonna delete him. That's pretty good, man. Universe 7 Goku, man. This is a fucking crazy ass deck. <laughs> this is a pretty wild deck. Yep. So we can take one damage here. It'll be fine. We're not gonna take the damage here, though, because he can just kill it with something else. So we'll protect here. This deck, man, <laughs> Universe Seven's pretty fucking good. Um, what do I have? What do I have to really just kind of turn the tide next turn? I can get rid of one raccoon here. I'm assuming he's gonna swing with everything, 
So we gotta we gotta preserve life as best as possible here. Mm -hmm. We do eat this. Can't do anything about thirty thousand. Why would you combo with that? I don't know. I'll take that, man. I'm not gonna super combo out of that. <laughs> okay, cool. Um. I think coolers are play here. Yeah, I think he is. So swing here for 20. Yeah, cooler. Where were you five turns ago? <laughs> yeah, we'll swing here. We're not going to combo. Oh, okay, cool. So he's probably going to play his double strike. Um... He'll probably play his double strike Goku here next turn. Try to go all in. We do not want to go face. We will play our cooler. So we swing in here. Tap and kill. Worst comes to worst, we can just use Golden Death Beam to kill him. So that's fine. Yep, step in. Yeah, good. That's what we want to see. That's fine. Oh. And then we will use his skill. We will discard a card. Um, Raccoon's pretty poo-poo. <laughs> right now, we are going to get rid of him. And we will restand cooler. Um... Again, kill another one of his Wii's. Uh, step in. But either way, we got a fail safe with Golden Death Beam into him, so that's fine. If he wants to use another card out of hand, oh, beautiful. We're loving it. Um, yeah, cool. And then we will Golden Death Beam your boy anyway. Yep, see ya. And turn in. All right, not a bad, not a bad turn, not a bad turn there. Uh, double strike Goku still kind of sucks. Yeah, twenty-five. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there he is. So he just straight kills him, right? No, two thousand. He's still alive. Yeah. Okay. So he. Uh, he's going with Wii's first. S smart. We're gonna. We're, so first off, we're gonna restand him with our skill, so he can't swing into him anyway. Um, we will get rid of. Supernova. Restand him, and then we'll actually throw a super combo in here, huh? No, we won't. We'll throw in this, and we'll throw in this. Nope. So now if he swings with leader first, so we can just block with this and tap down his Goku. He messed up. Yep, he messed up. <laughs> he messed up. Oh, man. The cooler is so good. Uh, we're going to keep cooler alive as well. He's too good. Yep. <laughs> he messed up. That is GG's, baby. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we'll charge one of the golden freezes. Um. We will swing at his Wii's first. God, man, we got cold and freezes for days. Uh, we'll swing here. He 
he's going to definitely eat this. And then we will use his skill to restand. I'll get rid of one of our mini golden phrases. Uh, restand, swing again. We don't even need a really hard force lethal here anyway. Super combos as he used one. He's using one. Okay, so more than likely he has another one. But we keep his uh we keep his Goku Permalock here, which is pretty nice. Uh, unfortunately I wish we had a five thousand just to take it where a single super combo doesn't keep him alive, but I'm not gonna use my Chile here. Yeah, it keeps him alive. But we got this down. Um, next turn we'll discard probably cooler to sand cooler and we'll get another golden uh, Frieza. Even if he has another double strike Goku, I think we're in a pretty good spot here. He hasn't charged, so he definitely has a double strike Goku. Oh, there it is. Let's see if he learned his lesson. <laughs> Let's see if he's learned his lesson. He has not learned his lesson. Oh my god, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> yep. Yep. Do we even take the damage here? I don't think we even care about taking the damage here. I mean, I think we do care. So now if he wants to attack here in the... Yeah, that's fine, man. We blocked that for days. Yep. <laughs> it's fine. We got another golden freezer, so you got back to back golden freezes. We're gonna double lock your board here, so. And keep it in hand. Uh, we'll swing for. Uh, no, no, no. You know what? We're gonna try this for. Uh, more card draws, nice. <laughs> there we go. No, shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Shouldn't have done that, dude. GG's. We win. Permatap here. Uh, 5,000 combo, so a super combo by itself doesn't save you. And then we'll drop another Golden Freeze and we win. Yep. Yep. GG's. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> we got there, baby. Ah, Cooler's such a force. This is uh, for one drop Ginyu's for two more Zarbon and two Golden Death Beams. Has really helped our matchup into red. guy's got a crazy background. Oh, okay, Beerus. So, crit fight. This should be interesting. Beerus is pretty good. Um, we will change. Yeah, a little bit better. Actually, a lot of bit better. Uh, like, Frost is still going to be a problem, but we got the Golden Death Beam, so now we just need the one drop Frieza, and we're sweet. And we're going second. That is great for us in a crit matchup. We need to 
kill that. Unfortunately, we won't be able to. Very good card. Very, very good card. Oh, we can't kill it. But now we... <laughs> Now the decision comes down, do we hold this for Frost because it shuts down our deck? Or do we kill this Roshi because he's just going to awaken him quicker? Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. But for sure right now we're just swinging 20k crit at his face. Eh, critical Beerus is pretty good. Um, yeah, we just get our card draw. We could have thrown out our freezer right away and gotten rid of the Roshi. I think we'll wait one more turn. I really want to see what he does at turn three here. We are very slow this game, though. <laughs> yeah, we take it. Sucks, but we've got to do it. Yeah, Golden Frieza. That sucks. But we got three more. Crit Vegeta. We do not take this. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roshi. Roshi's a problem, man. Um... How do we charging this turn? One of these. Alright, so... We'll do it this way. We'll drop him immediately. We'll swing into Vegeta, tap down Roshi, add a life to hand. So we could kill it with Golden Death Beam. Not swinging crit to face really, really hurts. But we gotta get this Roshi out of the way. Because once Beerus awakens, he just gives free negative 10,000 to one creature. And he starts drawing as well. So we gotta clear that board and get rid of that. Um, we'll keep our ramp in place. Just in case we are able to get a Golden Freeze on curve. Or even a cooler next turn would be really, really nice as well. Uh, he's down to six. We were both at six cards each. Uh, the bane of being a crit player. Um, he'll probably swing here if he's smart. He'll go here. Swing face. That's fine. That should be another golden Frieza. Ah, uh, regular Frieza. That's fine. Ah, he's got another Roshi. He's going to awaken. Shit. Got it anyway. He got it anyway. <laughs> God, is he? Oh, no, that's the, that's the draw one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Mm-hmm. So who you, who you getting, buddy? What do we got here? Is it any Universe 7? Okay, go on. Yeah, okay. So we gotta worry about him, so... He flips. Gohan's gonna put negative 10,000. He's gonna put negative 10,000 on Frieza here. That could be an issue. Um, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'll swing credit his face first. Fine with me, dude. You want to use those Roshis like that, dude? That is more than fine with me. Um. Yeah, we play Zarbon, and we will awaken. Uh, 
Now we could force some damage through here. Because our next turn we're at five. So we can even drop this and double swing. So if he takes this damage here, he's down to three. If he doesn't clear my board, he'll kill one of them. I don't know if he'll swing Gohan because it's crit into one of these other guys as well. I think we force through the damage. Because we can play him, use our energy. We got four next turn, then we double swing here. We're loading him up though, so he'll get... He'll get quite a few cards in hand if I do it this way. Hmm. This is tough. This is a tough decision to make. I think we go for it, man. I think we I think we chip at him. Are you gonna wake him? I'm not gonna lie to the life. Let's go. If he just wants to eat all this damage and load up, man, I am fine with this. I honestly think we get rid of our Golden Death Beam, re-stand and swing again. Because oh. if he does play a Frost next turn, yeah, it sucks, but we get our damage through here, and then we got our 20k, so if we put him down... Probably should have taken the life there, actually, because he can't play his, um... Is Goku yet? It's next turn. He takes it. Oh, okay. All right. So he might have a frost in hand. Uh, we did get rid of Golden Death Beam. That does suck. But we still have our one drop Frieza. But we can't use our four drop Frieza. But cooler. We do have our three drop 2500 cooler. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. If he play, plays Frost, that hurts. But if he doesn't. And we still have some board remaining. We're going to be in a pretty good spot, man. No. Wait, what does that do? Where are we? I can't read it. Choose any number of your opponent's battle, battle cards that add up to a total power. Oh, 3,500 or less and kill them. Okay, so you can kill one. You can kill one battle card for three. I, I think he misread it. I think he probably said every battle card, 3,500 and less kill it. It says add up to a total. So he can kill one card. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he misread that. <laughs> oh, poor dude, man. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> that is unfortunately not a board clear. It's not going to have anything. <laughs> yeah, all that would have done is he would have killed one. It's not even minus power, so then he could have get my... He, look, it wouldn't have been too bad for him, because he could have killed one of my guys, and then he could have minus um, 10,000 with beer swung in and killed him. Would I have let him have it? Probably not. But, yeah, no, nah, that, that sucks, man. That was... You gotta put that. He would have been better off putting the Gohan down and swinging with the Gohan and then swinging with Beerus. Or even... Gohan swinging at one of my dudes for 25k, minus 10,000 on one. Um, I'd probably super combo out, but then do the same thing with Beerus. Kill one of my guys for sure with the minus 10,000 on him, because it stacks up. And then swing in another guy. I had another ultra combo, and then I was going to double swing with my 40k uh, Frieza, but that probably would have been the better play. <laughs> uh, poor guy. Poor guy. I know exactly what he was doing. Oh, no. All right, I think on that one, guys, I'm probably going to end the stream. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Um, I am going to try to upload to YouTube because uh, with my work schedule, I'm, I'm on the weekend now, but with my work schedule, 
my, my streaming is possibly going to be non-existent, uh, if not extremely late at night, like last stream. So, um, you know, anybody who enjoyed watching, uh, it's Metamaxi on YouTube as well. Um, I will be uploading videos on there soon, finally, after five years. Um, but thanks for watching. Drop a follow if you like the stream, and I'll catch you guys later. Play cooler, everybody.